Hi everyone, this is Abby Kay here, and I am so excited to show you a flip through of Apologia's Exploring Creation with Mathematics Level 4. We are so excited to do this one this year with my soon-to-be nine-year-old. Um, she's done Level 2 and Level 3, and she's doing great with it, so we're going to keep going. Okay, so right into it. This is the Teacher's Guide, Table of Contents. And this is the part that I really love, is the suggested daily schedule. Now, normally we are a do the next thing, and so most of this is pretty straightforward. You do a lesson, um, but what this schedule helps you see is, as you can see an example here, the skill to practice. So not only do you do the lesson, but you might take five or 10 minutes to practice a skill that complements or reviews, either complements the lesson that you were on or reviews a previous concept. So I really like that I can check to see what um, she should be practicing that each day. The schedule is also nice because it gives you a heads up of any unit projects or um, chapter topics. Now we get into the introduction. This gives you an overview of how the course works and the intentions behind it. I really love um, the author. If you follow her on social media, Catherine Gnomes, she is a wonderful person. She is a second generation homeschooler. She has been a math teacher and tutor for years and she is now homeschooling her own children. So you can tell she really has a heart for it. She loves teaching math and she loves supporting homeschoolers. So this again, I mentioned in the schedule, the daily skills practice, this gives you an overview of what that should look like. This level starts optional chapter tests. Uh, none of the other levels have had testing so far. Um, review is built in, you work towards mastery, so tests really weren't necessary. But as we get into more complicated or complex math topics, um, some testing to kind of get your student used to that might be a good option. So they included that in level four. I love this course because it has such a strong foundation in place value, which is super important. So this gets into the actual teacher manual part where it's giving you an overview of this unit. And then we get into the, each lesson is broken down with um, some teaching notes and answer key. very easy to follow. You know exactly what you are getting into each day and what um, you need to be going over with your student. So I really enjoy these teacher manuals. It's very simple. It's not overly wordy. It doesn't uh, expect a lot of time involvement for you. It's all right there, quick and easy to see and look through. So again, here's the beginning of unit two. It's giving you an overview of everything that you need to know for this unit. And then each lesson is broken down into teaching notes and answer key. Okay, then we move on to the back of the teacher's manual. And that begins the activity sheets. These are wonderful and so beautifully done. They follow along. If you wanted to, you could pair level four with Apologia's um, swimming creatures for science, which, which, be, which would be a wonderful pairing. You certainly do not have to. It does stand alone, but it is nice that that's an option. You know, we love it when things match. But these um, daily activity sheets are beautifully done. They are simple, as in they are activities that we can actually do. And they very much reinforce the concepts that the student is working on. So I usually tear these out, uh, give them to my daughter, and she follows along with the instructions in the lesson. Thank you. 
Okay, at the very back is the master supply list. So you can take a look at this at the beginning of the year and see every single um, supply that you might need for the whole year, which is wonderful. You can prep ahead. Okay, moving on to the student workbook. Again, beautifully done. We love the spiral binding, sturdy cover. Okay, the table of contents is broken down a little bit more in this one, showing each lesson and topic. Okay, and here we have a bit of a key to explain what each of these icons mean in the student book. And then you'll have the website and the password for the online extras. Okay, unit one. Again, a great emphasis on place value, which we really appreciate. Now I'll go back and show you that each unit will begin with um, what I would call more of a devotional. It's an introduction to what the unit will be about and how it applies to God's world. If you are looking for a secular curriculum, I would think that this book, this course would still work very well for you. You would just want to skip this first page of each unit. But as a Christian family, we really appreciate it. It's a beautiful way to tie in math with our faith, with God's word. Exploring creation, it's, it's in the title, and it really does a wonderful job of tying that all together without being overwhelming or too much, if you understand. Okay, so each lesson is going to be set up in a very similar um, setup here, where you start with a project or an activity, then you get an explanation and move into the lesson practice. Not every single lesson has an activity, but most do. If there is an activity, it will be at the beginning of the lesson. So as you can see, activity, explanation, and practice. Activity, explanation, and practice. A wonderful, consistent setup that really helps you and your student get into a good groove. There's enough variety between every day. Um, no two days are going to be exactly the same, but at least the flow is very comfortable and consistent with activity, explanation, and practice. As we move along in the book, you can see that the pages are beautifully laid out, colorful and engaging without being too overwhelming or distracting. It strikes a very nice balance between the colorful and attractive and yet not too much or too overwhelming. Moving on into some geometry concepts. Um, this course is not mastery, but it is a spiral, hmm, how would I put this? It, it, it strikes a very good balance between mastery and spiral, meaning it stays on one topic um, long enough to really dive into it and get comfortable with it, yet will spiral back around plenty of good review, moving on and hitting new topics to keep your student, your student engaged and interested. So again, here I'll show you a beginning of a new unit. This one is unit five. 
we have a wonderful page here tying in the concept, the topics presented in this unit with God's creation. It explains what the skills practice for this unit could be. And then we move into the lessons with, again, activity, which this sheet will be in the teacher's guide. You pull it out, you use these few supplies, very straightforward, you follow the steps, you've done a wonderfully engaging activity that didn't require much prep prepping from mom or um, thought or time. Uh, it's a very efficient, effective way to get a wonderful hands-on activity that is actually doable in a busy homeschool day. And you move into the explanation of the lesson, examples, and the practice. Lots of beautiful pictures, diagrams, examples. We also enjoy how concepts are taught where um, they are presented in different ways and then the student is allowed to choose the one that works the best for them. Fractions and decimals, moving through. See, the uh, math is getting if, um, appropriately more complex as you move through the book. Okay, and then you hit the end. Um, let's show, here's a nice project to end. A lot of the projects that are included in the course involve food, which is wonderful. Um, always exciting and easy for mom to do. We can do these things in the kitchen. Okay, and then a reward. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, you get your certificate of completion at the end of the course. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this flip through. If there's anything that you want to see specifically or have any questions, please let me know. We have really enjoyed Apology is Exploring Creation with Mathematics. Thank you.